Yo, what's up, Swag Gang? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lauren, a.k.a. KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we got to react to Justin Fields, man. Justin Fields is being impressive right now. I mean, Justin Fields is going crazy, brother. Chicago Bears, NFL rookie, bro. Look, man, I don't want to do too much talking, man. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and let's just get into the reaction, bro. Man, I'm so happy for Justin Fields, man. I, w I wish we would have got him. I wish the Patriots would have got Justin Fields, but it, you know it is what it is. We got Matt Jones. So, look, man, we're going to see how he do, man. I've been hearing a lot of stuff that Matt Jones is doing kind of bad in practice, you know. So, look, man, let's get into the reaction, man. Let's see how Justin Fields doing in practice. The 2000. They say he's going crazy. NFL draft class. Mike go down as one of the greatest quarterback draft classes that we've ever seen in NFL history. With Damn. the amount of talent that we saw in the NFL draft this year and the amount of hype that all these players generated, each and every one of these players that I've been evaluating so far, at least in my opinion, would have been a top five pick in any other NFL draft. That's how deep this year's QB class was. But I don't think there's a single player that's been more polarizing thus far than Justin Fields. And Ooh. I'm going to break him down a little bit in terms of how he's doing in OTAs. We have mini camp next week, so there's so much more information about the guy. But this is a player that I have taken a special interest in. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys an update as to how he's doing in OTAs. Now, guys, I wanted to let you know that I haven't I ain't gonna lie. June so far because, well... I ain't going to lie. Justin Fields look fire, bro. Justin Fields look good, bro. Well... I'm trying to fight these copyright claims. So it's been a little bit tough. It's been really hard to stay motivated with the NFL coming after me like this. For so real. if you could take a moment to sack the... Me too. I'm going through the same shit right now. I keep getting copyrighted, bro. I'm going through the same stuff, bro. It's like I'm trying to find a way. I literally called the NFL. I called the NFL films and they said it's like no other way. I got to... I got to do like an email or form or something like that, bro. I called the NFL films. Please, bro, please stop copywriting me, bro. Is there, is there any other way that I can stop getting copyrighted, bro? The NFL season is starting, bro. That, I'm literally, I'm literally striving to do every freaking NFL highlight, literally, when the NFL starts. Like, I mean, every highlight, even the trash teams, even the Detroit Lions, even they, they don't even have a damn team. Really, bro, I'm doing every freaking highlight this year. When August hits, bro, I'm doing it, bro. That, hey, I got to pay some bills, bro. I got to make some money, bro. You know, hey, Cash Nasty, hey, I got to pay some bills. But look, man, I am tired of this, bro. I am tired of getting copyrighted. You look, he's showing it. He's a bigger YouTuber than me. Tired of it, bro. And NFL, bro, I mean, the um, NFL has really been pretty good. Y'all know who it is the most? It's the NBA, bro. NBA is giving me hell. I can't do no NBA highlights, really, bro. But look, man, I just had to get that off my chest, man. Let's just get into the reaction, bro. <sighs> I'm sorry, Justin Fields. I just had to get that off my chest. The like button for the YouTube algorithm. Just get the content out to a larger audience. And follow me on Instagram for a chance to win a pair of Apple AirPod Maxes. I'm going to announce the giveaway when we hit 400,000 subscribers. Now that we got all that out of the way. Good is the scent of gain dish soap. <laughs> Taylor, why are you in our house? Doing our dishes. That made this, that made this intro though, man. This intro fire. <laughs> Mike check one two one two. What's going on, everybody? We have been absolutely clean Chicago Bears all off season long because the decisions that they've made so far at least over the past year have been laughable at best I feel like they didn't I in my opinion when you come out in 2017 and say that Mitchell Trubisky is the next coming of Drew Brees which is what Ryan Pace essentially did and then put this immense pressure on him to succeed and in my opinion punt on him prematurely yes he may have been awful but i feel like the chicago bears really could have at least given him some more support or at least a bit of a confidence boost in terms of his Damn. development then you factor in the fact that the bears just have made some terrible decisions in regards to their roster such as trading for nick Foles, which is a 
quarterback with a pretty decent contract not anywhere in the higher echelon of what QBs are getting paid but on top of that they signed Andy Dalton this past year and called him their starting QB and you really can't blame me for thinking that wow this team is an absolute joke and that's before I even mentioned the fact that they let Kendall Fuller go for absolutely nothing there comes a point where you're just like Chicago what are you doing but I'll tell you guys that I have been pleasantly surprised with the direction of this franchise and I want to actually applaud ownership for at least attempting to maintain continuity. I think it's very mature of them to at least look at Ryan Pace and say, hey, I think his mindset was in the right place and trying to draft a QB and sign good wide receivers. Damn, and Khalil Mack! Andy Reid coaching tree in Kansas City while also trading for Khalil Mack. I understand the mentality there, but things just didn't work out. So I do want to praise the Bears for continuity, but I also want to praise the Bears because I really like the way they went about acquiring their new quarterback, Justin Fields. You see, this is a player that back in January, I thought was going to be the number two pick in the NFL draft. And the Chicago Bears didn't trade up with the Atlanta Falcons. They didn't trade up with the Cincinnati Bengals. They waited until they felt like they didn't need to give up too many assets in order to move up and draft Justin Fields. So there's a lot of strangeness going on with the Bears. You're still paying two quarterbacks that arguably are starter caliber, I suppose, a decent sum of money in the form of Andy Dalton and Nick Foles, but you still have Justin Fields waiting in the wings, who is a very polarizing candidate because, well, apparently since this man went to Ohio State University and Ohio State University never produced a successful quarterback prospect, well, we're automatically assuming that Justin Fields is going to fail. Which, a quick note, I don't think it's fair to assume that Justin Fields is going to fail because Dwayne oh. Haskins was drafted I don't think Justin Fields is going to fail. I think Dwayne, like, you know, I like Dwayne Haskins. I think Justin Fields is going to be, like, 10 times better, bro. This dude, like, in this era right now, you can't be no slow-ass quarterback, bro. You you got to move. You got to know how to move. Only person that can be slow is Tom Brady. Because, look, man, I mean, just look at his line. Like, that's the only person that can literally be slow in this era bro it's all about moving out of the pocket and moving around like when tom brady retires bro it's gonna be fast quarterbacks bro or quarterbacks that can that can at least move bro so man i'm just saying bro damn we got justin fields way too high cardale jones who was drafted in the fourth round didn't pan out terrell Pryor, who was drafted in the supplemental draft but in the third round didn't pan out and troy smith who was a fifth round look at nice he looks i never quite understood that rationale whatsoever i guess you could say hey the last qb that was drafted in the first round stunk so there's a chance that justin fields may stink but it's really unfair because i think justin oh, fields is probably the most nfl ready prospect that has come out of ohio state at least in the past, I don't know, 40 years? So let me tell you where the Chicago Bears currently are at with Justin Fields' development, because so far, Andy Dalton still has been receiving the first team reps with the Chicago Bears, which in my opinion is a little bit strange, but I guess the Chicago Bears are so traumatized from the Mitchell Trubisky experience because this is a quarterback that was literally just thrown to the dogs when John Fox thought that his head coaching career was on the line, that Matt Nagy really wants to take his time to develop Damn. Justin Fields properly, unless if you see the Chicago Bears start out the season horribly and Matt Nagy begins to panic and does to Justin Fields what John Fox did to Mitchell Trubisky, and then we have a revolving door. But to be honest, I think this is a team that has the potential to surprise a lot of teams this year. And you might make fun of me for this, but I actually think the Chicago Bears have an opportunity to make a pretty nice playoff run. It they probably could, bro. Potential. I they probably could make it to the playoffs, bro. They could, bro. I, I give it to them. They, they still got a nice solid defense. You see nothing but studs on both the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball, especially when you consider who they added this year. They signed Jermaine Effetti for the right tackle position. They took a flyer on Tevin Jenkins at the left tackle position, which according to Brett Coleman is the most terrifying offensive lineman in the entire NFL draft. They have a very good wide receiver core of Allen Robinson, Darnell Moody, and Anthony 
Anthony Miller. That's where nice. they bring up the fact that they have David Montgomery, Tariq Cohen, and Damian Williams as their running back. Nice. That's before I get to their defense, which in my opinion is better than their offense. You have Eddie Jackson and Tayshawn Gibson at the same yep. position. You have yep. Desmond Trufant as the right cornerback. Yep. Jalen Johnson as the left cornerback. And you have Robert Quinn, Danny Trevathan, Roquan Smith, and Khalil Mack that makes up the pass rush and linebacker core. Mm -hmm. This is a team that can absolutely terrify opposing NFL teams, and this is actually my dark horse team to win the NFC. Bear in mind, I said dark horse because a lot of people aren't hyping up the Chicago Bears. The biggest <laughs> question mark is how quickly could Justin Fields develop? Well, currently, Justin Fields is number two on the depth chart ahead of Nick Foles and right behind Andy Dalton, and Matt Nagy yeah. had this to say about him. I've talked to all three of our quarterbacks, and as we go into these practices, as we got into training camps, knowing how valuable it is for Justin to get his reps, and then Andy, obviously, to get his reps too, yeah. Nick and I have talked, and he understands that going into this, that Justin is going to get the two reps, and that Nick is going to get the three reps. And Nick Damn. is a true pro and understands it. He's still very competitive, and that's why I say like in all these meetings. It's just really special to see how they're trying to help Justin out and teach him how to play quarterback and how to watch film and study this offense, but also Justin helping them too with mm. what he sees. So it's been really good. Nagy says that Justin Fields has done a really good job at just trying to digest everything we are teaching in this offense in particular right now. Oh, okay. And one thing that you learn when you get with Justin is that you... So basically the main thing is he just really needs to learn. He just needs to sit back and learn. So I get that too. Realize that he does everything really well in a group setting. He listens, he observes Andy, Nick, Coach Flip, which is a reference to John DeFilippo, Bill Lazor, myself, and when we are in there, but also too, when you are able to have one-on-one -on -one individual conversations with him, sometimes okay. those settings are easier and you can be a little more specific with him. You really see him open up. It'll be cool to see him once he really starts understanding what we do here in this offense, to see him continue to grow and open up and ask good questions, which he has done. Everything that we thought he was going to be when he got here was learning and being obsessed with everything that we teach him and then being able to be himself out on the field. He's really doing things in a really good way. Nick nice. Foles has a pretty nice track record in terms of mentorship as well. So it seems like in terms of the culture that the Chicago Bears have, things are starting out in the right way. And based off of what I've seen from Matt Nagy's offensive schemes, his play design isn't what was the problem. It was Mitchell Trubisky making the right reads that was the biggest problem. So I'm really excited to see the development of Justin Fields. And if you made it to the end of this video, I want to give you an opportunity to suggest in the comment section down below, who should we cover next? I'm gonna- I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm actually happy about Justin Fields, man. But a lot of people saying that he really needs to learn. So look, man, we just gonna see what happens, bro. I really hope he starts. I really hope he starts. I really hope he starts. So let me know down below what you guys think as well, man. Um, look, man, make sure you click that like button, bro. Cause we trying to get this video popping, bro. We trying to get all the videos popping, so make sure you like all the videos, man. Bro, I love you guys, SG Game, and we will be on top real soon. I will see you guys in the next video.